Hello, this is Gio. Hey, look what we have here. We're on my computer screen and I'm just kind of showing one document here. It is a Adobe Acrobat document uh, and we're going to open up this in a second. But what I want to talk about today is passwords. Many of you who use Adobe Acrobat uh, are confronted sometimes with the need to put on a password onto your document or possibly if you already have a password to remove that password. And so I'm going to be showing you how to do that today. Okay, so let's just start by opening up this document. Now this is just a standard inf uh, informative document about Adobe Acrobat Pro. Now uh, just as a starting point, now this password protection on Acrobat only works if you have the Pro or the Standard Edition. If you have the Acrobat Reader, you cannot uh, insert or remove passwords. So you can only view the documents on the free reader. So you do need the either the Acrobat Standard Edition or the Pro Edition to, um, to use passwords. So again, this is just a standard document. Uh, it has no restrictions. I opened it up without a password. So let's say we want to um, prevent people from opening up this document uh, without a password. So to do that, you want to just go up to the upper left-hand corner here under File, hit that, go down to Properties. So we're there. And you have a series of tabs that you see right here one of them is security. So we're going to go ahead and open up the security tab. And from here, you can see all the document restrictions that are already in place. And as I said before, there are no restrictions. So basically, we could print it, we could change the document, we could essentially modify it any way we want to at this point. Everything is allowed. So to prevent opening up this document, we will go to security methods here and again it shows no security so what we want to do is apply a password so password security right here we can also put uh, certificates etc but we're interested in passwords so we hit passwords right here and from here you have a number of choices you can make the first one is document open so if we want to restrict people from opening up this document without a password we would essentially hit this box and enter a password here. But there's also other choices we can have. We could also have permissions. Let's say we it's okay for them to open up the document without a password, but we want to restrict them from modifying the document. So we could do that from here. And we'll go we'll go over uh, an example of both of these. So uh, you can enter a password here. The last one is just some options you can look through and uh, make some choices as you would like. But let's just start with the document open. So we want to prevent people from opening up the document. So we hit this little box here and we're going to enter a, uh, a password. Now uh, there's a little bar here that shows if it's a weak password or strong password. And so let's just pick a really strong password and uh, let's see. And there you go. It is the best password. So it's very strong. So we go ahead. We like that password. We hit OK. So next, it's, it's just wanting to verify uh, that you do want the password. And so we have to re-enter the password we just entered. And there you go. The next screen is just set. Uh, it just says uh, before the password can uh, can be applied, you have to save the document. So we just kind of say okay to that. And so that window is closed, and now it has a password associated in the security um, method. So we hit okay, and here's the document. So it, we could still view it. Uh, the password will not apply until we go to file and save it here. Or we could just close it uh, with, with the X right here, and it'll just ask, do you want to save it? We'll go ahead and hit yes. Okay, so here the document is closed. And so to reopen it, we want to open it. And there you go. This is just the opening screen of Acrobat. But before it opens up our document, we need to enter the password. So let's see if I remember my password. 
hopefully that's correct. And indeed it is. So it allowed me to open up the document. So if I entered the wrong password, let's say I open it up and just hit um, 111 and hit OK, it says the password is incorrect. So, uh, so let's try to reinsert the password, the correct one. There you go. That is the correct password, and it allowed allows me to uh, enter the document. Okay, so but once I'm in the document, I can not only view it, but I could still I I can modify this document since I didn't actually put a password protection for permissions. It's just only uh, a password for opening the document. So here I could go into organize pages, hit that. I could move around pages as I wish and then go ahead and save the document as normal once I've modified it. Okay, but what if I'm interested in restricting the actual uh, permissions? Let's say I, 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 I'm, it's fine if somebody wants to open up the document, but I don't want them to modify the document. Well, here I would go again to File, go down to Properties, and uh, here I've already set uh, the, the password security but so I want to change these settings now. I hit change. So here I, I'm actually going to keep uh, the password for opening up the document, but I want to apply a new password for the permission restrictions. And so I hit that and I'm just uh, going to keep all the uh, default settings there. And I'm just going to put a really simple password. This time I'll just do one, two, three, one, two, three and clearly it is a weak password but this is just for uh, demonstration so this will be fine i i hit okay here it, you know it 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 just a little warning that it will uh, do restrictions for um, permissions i hit okay and now it's asking me for to re-enter the permissions password here now i've already opened up the document i use the open password uh, and so it knows that I know that password, so it's just asking me for permission. So I'm doing the uh, one, two, three. I hit OK. It's just saying this password won't stick until you save it. I hit OK. I get out of it. And there you go. So I'm going to close it up. I'm going to save it. And this next time, so um, I, first I'm going to have to use my open password to get into the document. So I'll open it up do my more elaborate password first there you go it has opened it up but it still has the permissions password in place so if I wanted to organize pages right now I hit organize and essentially it will not let me uh, modify this document until I enter the permissions password and so I'll enter that one two three and there you go. Now I could actually modify the document. So there are quite a lot of uh, choices you can have for passwords and encryption. And I've only covered a couple of them today. And I hope this video helped you out. And if, it, and if you liked it, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen. And even consider subscribing to my channel. I have many more videos to come. Bye-bye.